Okay, so here I am in the world of Minecraft where we are tasked with creating an assessment that we could use with our own students in the classroom. I spent a lot of time really trying to figure out something that students could conceivably create without, even students without a huge background in Minecraft. I wanted it to be accessible to a lot of different people. Uh, and I think it would still be interesting for people that play Minecraft all the time and doable for people that don't. So what I came up with, this would be used in an 8th grade U.S. history classroom while we studied the Civil War and specifically while we studied the Battle of Gettysburg, which was the turning point battle. This, what you're looking at here in front of you, is the battlefield as it would have looked at the start of the third day. And I've created this as an example, but instead of having my students explore the battlefield, which would still be educational, I would want them to recreate this. So I might show this as an example briefly, but I would want them to create what the battlefield would have looked like at the start of the third day. This would be a formative assessment used for learning, and I would mainly be looking at their creativity and effort to a certain extent. Obviously, their accuracy would have to be assessed because, you know, if you put the Union troops on the Confederate side and the Confederate troops over here, that wouldn't make sense. But for the most part, I would just be very interested to see how they visually represented the battlefield because I think there would be a lot of different ways to do this beyond what I just did. So the advantage, I think, of using Minecraft is it would put them on the battlefield in a way that a video or photographs could not. This actually allows them to stand, essentially, on the battlefield and look around at what it would have been like. The next best thing to that, I think, obviously, would be going to the battlefield in Pennsylvania itself. But this, this I think, would be uh, you know, a good way to do that without you know, the huge field trip across state lines. So what you look at, so as you come in here, you can see that this is the southernmost part of the battlefield, as it would have looked at the start of the third day. Blue blocks are Union troops, and red blocks are Confederate troops. And all of these information blocks denote what these places are. So this is the Devil's Den, this is Big Round Top, uh, Wheat Field, Little Round Top, the Union troops, the middle part of the line was along what's called Cemetery Ridge here, and over here, Confederate troops were placed along what was called Seminary Ridge. This here is about a mile of open field, uphill, going in this direction, and on the third day, the Confederates launched an attack towards the heart of the Union line, so they had to come across, in the July heat, come across a mile of open field, uphill, uh, to reach Union lines, it was a devastating loss for them, and it was certainly a, the, it was the turning point battle of the Civil War. The Confederacy never bounced back after that. This plaque, or this uh, information block denotes where the town would have been. And then I can get an aerial view so you can see what it would have looked like. Okay, so this gives you an idea of what it looked like from above. You can see that the Union troops are in what is often referred to as a fish hook. But it just gives you a really good idea of what the battlefield would have looked like at the start of that third day. And the idea is the students would create the battlefield and then at the start of the third day and then come into the classroom and learn about what the battlefield would have been like. Uh, what the battle, excuse me, would have been like, you know, as it played out on that third day. So they would, as they learned about it, they would have a great visual for what it actually would have looked like. In terms of the criteria that it meets on my rubric 4.0 that assesses assessments, I think it meets the first one really well. That criterion states that students um, need to be, their assessment needs to reflect what they've learned in the classroom. And because this would be the battle on the third day, they already would have learned about the first and second, so they'll already be familiar with this. And then the third criterion states that students need to be actively engaged in the quality and creation of the assessment and because they're actually creating the assessment, this definitely meets that criteria. It meets others as well. The, you know, I have a criteria about digital tools. This certainly uses those. Uh, but I think it meets number one and three very well. And it just would give them a great idea of what being on the battlefield would be like. And I would really like that they would have that experience.